like a classroom. Now let's begin. Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. What? What? Bam! You listen in the house, Ibrahim and Greg, dude, my senior today, right? Teachers, looking good in the tees. We're dressed down. I love it. Okay. We have the students ready to roll. I knew it from the word gecko. We have our teachers from Hardy Williams High in Southwest Philadelphia. They just entered the classroom to show the test students and their favorite teachers. And look who showed up. It's winner take all. And these guys want to see it. Cash and bragging rights before we meet our contestants. I'm calling it now. Pop quiz. <laughs> All right, grab your buzzers, guys. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to bank you 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other side is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. Pop quiz starts now. Who is the commander in chief of the U.S. military? Mr. Patterson. President Donald Trump. That is correct. In the NFL, what color is the head coach's challenge flag? Mr. Ackman. Red. Red is right. In Homer's The Odyssey, the mythical creature known as Cyclops has how many eyes? Mr. Ackman. One. One is right. Viola Davis plays a law professor named Annalise Keating in what TV series? Greg. How to get away from murder. That is correct. Nice. What is the square root of four? Ibrahim. Two. Nice. What is the term for a substance that cannot be chemically broken down into simpler substances? Julissa. Matter. Steel teachers. We were looking for element, guys. Element. What is the capital of West Virginia? Miss Arkamore. Alexandria. Students for the steal. Never been to West Virginia. I guess not. The answer was Charleston, guys. What horror film series is centered around Michael Myers? Mr. Patterson. <sighs> Halloween. Good, yeah. What wooden animal was used by the Greeks in the Trojan War? Ibrahim. A horse. Horse is right. They snuck in there, and you did with that last question. Nice job sneaking that one in. Let's take a look at our scores. 40 points for the teachers, and the students are right there with 30. And man, are we off to a great start. We have the students and teachers today from Hardy Williams High in Philadelphia. Home of the Knights. Greg, dude, what's up, team captain? My man, senior, you're almost done. How's that feel? Great. Yeah, right. $500 is on the line today. If you guys win, where's it going? Uh, right now I'm in student council and we're like planning fundraisers and trying to like get ideas to what we can do like to uh, prepare for like events and stuff. Nice. You never school. know when you need another 500 for a DJ or something like that. Yeah. Good to see you, man. You're a 12th grader. Where do we want to go next year? Um, right now I'm looking into Penn State. Uh, that's like my main college. And what do you want to what do you want to major in? Accounting. Good luck, man. You're hoping you're a numbers Thanks. guy, right? You're going to yeah. have a lot of counting to do. <laughs> Ibrahim, my man, you're in 10th grade. You don't want to talk about school. You said, Richard, I love video games. Specifically, what's your video game? Call of Duty. Yeah, that's it, right? That's a new one. You, you get the new game that came out? Not yet. Are you a big mic guy? You like to talk trash from the mic a little bit? No. You like to, ju you like to just let, the, let your gameplay show you what's up? Yeah. All right, cool, man. Hopefully you got to give me some lessons. I'm not very good at that. All right, Julissa, good to see you, 10th grader. And you're a big-time singer? Yeah, somewhat. Yeah, are you like a, in a band or anything? No. Baby, though, coming up. What are you into singing wise? What kind of songs do you like to sing? Um, I sing a little bit of everything from alternative to 80s. All right, so best song ever, what is it? Um, I like Wonderwall by Oasis. Yeah, that's a good one. That's everyone's theme song. Hey, 500 guys in the line. Bragging rights to beat these three over here. Good luck today, okay? Give these three a big Thanks. round. They're good kids. I would hate to see them go home with a loss, though, but you guys are saying, yes, we can. Yes. Yes. Mr. Patterson, $500. If you guys win that, where's that going? Uh, senior scholarship fund, uh, specifically around trade schools. Oh, nice. So if they want to become a carpenter, electrician, something like that? Yes. That's perfect. It's a good place to be. You're, you're the dean of students over there. I am. You yes, loving I it? I am. I love it. I love it. Three years in the game now, and I hear that every year you have a busy month in November. Yeah, every, every um, year in November, I go to uh, Nicaragua, and we go and we build homes for families in need. How many so. years have you been doing that? That's incredible. Four 
where you is now. That's wild, yeah. man. See, we need more people like you. That's awesome. And yeah. you have time to be the dean of students. You're That's a good right. person. Yeah. Miss Arkham Moore, good to see you. <laughs> 11th, 12th grade prep for college. Uh, and I heard that these guys were singing. Well, you heard the singer over Wonderwall Oasis. I did. I and did. you kind of got into the singing vibe because you're a karaoke star. I do. I love karaoke. Yes. All right. So if, you're, if we're out of karaoke, what are you singing? Um, I love Lauren Hill, doing a little Lauren Hill. Ooh, are we talking uh, Killing Me Softly? Everyone in the audience is like, yeah, a little Killing Me <laughs> Softly. Give me a, I'm not letting you off the hook here. Give me like one little line. Okay. Strolling my pain with his okay. fingers. Okay. One time. One time. One time. You started a band, guys. Yeah. Hey, you can be in it too. You can bring your friends. Okay, that's it. All right, Mr. Ackman, good to see you. Two years, and guys, I think he might be a running back for the Philadelphia Eagles. Look at this guy, man. You are thick. What do you play? You have to play either football, right? Yeah, I played football in high school, uh, and two years in college, and uh, three years of rugby at Temple. Oh, so you're still? Are you still playing rugby now? No, no, not anymore. Well, no, it looks like you're still in shape. Just don't, Thanks. stay there today. If I make you mad, don't take it out on me. <laughs> right. yeah. It's that smile. See that smile? He can't be a bad guy. Hey, hey. All right, now listen. You ever send somebody to detention? Absolutely. Yeah, right. Well, guess what? You're gonna get a chance right here because we're sending somebody now. <laughs> Time. I hope you're ready. Teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. Here's how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or if you want to pass it to the other side. If you choose to play, you answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other side to detention. But be careful because you get it wrong. They can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The team that sends all the other contestants to detention is going to win 40 points and be in control control the game. Detention starts now. Students, your category is sports. Do you want to pass or play? Pass. Sports. Pass. I'm gonna play. Here we go. In basketball, getting double digits in points, rebounds, and assists in a single game is an example of what achievement? Triple double. I mean... Yeah. Triple double is right. I, I was waiting for the dig. I'm on board with that. <laughs> Greg was going to turn his answer to the wrong and <laughs> something else. Man, nice answer to the triple-double, which means three teachers on the board. There's only going to be two left because one of them's going to detention. And that one is going to be Dean Pedersen. Oh, that's why not. Send the students. Get them out of here early. Get them out of here. That must have felt good, huh? <laughs> what about uh, you go back? He's been targeting me all day. He's been targeting you? <laughs> all right. Well, you set the tone there early. Nice job. Category teachers thrown over to you is geometry. How do you feel? Pass or play? Play. Yeah, we'll play. The math formula, area equals base times height, is used to find the area of what figure? Area equals base times height. Triangle. 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 Yes. Triangle. Uh, <laughs> rectangle is what we were looking for. Guys, you didn't even have to answer. You got to send somebody else to detention. Who's going? Uh, Arkham. Arkham. This is Arkham Moore. She's out of there. You guys said it so politely. You're like, Arkham Moore, you're out. Was she targeting you, or you're just like, no, nah, she's smart. Let's well, get her out of there. She's the second person. So. All right, all right. Nice job. All right, well, here's the deal. If you guys get this one right, you win detention. You have the choice here on your category of notable people. How do you feel about notable people? We're going to pass. You're going to pass it. Here we go. What scientist is famous for the theory of relativity? Theory of relativity. I want to say, get it right. You win. You stay in the game. Get it wrong. You go to detention. Theory of relativity. <laughs> Sorry, time is up. We're looking for Albert Einstein, but you, sir, can go on over to detention. The students sweep the round. And get 70 points in the game to the 40 for our teachers. Don't go anywhere because we're going to be right back to see how well these ones spell. My sweet, my sweet. Bam, bam, bam. Good job. I love her. I love her. That's a cheer.
cheering section right there, guys. Hey, welcome back to the classroom. Today, I have students and teachers from Hardy, Williams High, in Southwest Philadelphia. They're going head to head. The score is tight. Students in the lead, 70 points on the board. Teachers with 40. And we're going right into our next category of spell check. If you're not a speller, that makes two of us. Here's how this game is going to work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'll give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. If you say a wrong letter at any point, you guys are out of there. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're going to win 30 points for the round. If the time runs out on the round and we have some players left standing, everyone's going to get 10 points for their team just for making it through the round. So let's do it. Let's play some spell checks. Students, we're going to start with you. Greg, step up to the microphone. You're First word is fluid. F O U I D. Occur, Mr. Patterson. Occur. O C C U R. Abraham. Abraham. Eighth. Can you repeat it? Eighth. Eighth. A T H. -E. Sorry about eighth, like the number eight. Oh. Quail. Q U A I L. Gallery. G A L L A R Y. Holding Ooh. it down. We're down to our Ooh. final speller on the student <laughs> side, Greg. Tuition. T U T I O N. Sorry, you are out. We're down to two teachers left. Greg, step up to the mic. Abdomen. A B D O M E. And which means the round is over and teachers just won it. Didn't even have to spell. Bringing that to a tie score, but we're not done yet. We're taking a field trip, hopping off the bus just in time for the final exam. The classroom is still in session when we come back. You, you didn't have to spell? Students versus teachers from Hardy Williams High School in Southwest Philadelphia. I've made my way out into the audience, and I'm dressed as a knight. What? No, not I'm right here. Come on, man. You did a great job, though. Give it up for the knight. Hey, you guys are awesome, man. What a game so far. How much fun is this? Students, teachers, tied up at 70. How are you feeling about the game? We're going to win. You feel your students got it? These teachers are pretty good, though. You guys think they, they have it in them, or is this all students? No, nope. all students. All students? All students. Here's why I know that you have one of the best cheering sections. You guys have the coolest shoot-the-ball cheer I've ever seen. Let's give it to everybody at home. Pom-poms down. Hit it, ladies. Let me see it. Woo! Shoot that! Like, are the guys on the court at that point and the girls on the basketball court just shooting balls at all possible? No one's playing. Everyone's tossing up half-court shots. Holy moly, guys, that was incredible. You guys are talented. All right, teams, grab your buzzers. You're going to need them for this one. Today, we're taking a field trip to the clothespin statue to test your fashion knowledge. Greg, you look like a fashion guy. Right? Yeah. yeah, you're feeling ready for this. <laughs> hey, the first person to buzz in, get the correct answer to each question, is going to win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in, you get it incorrect. As per usual, the other team can buzz in. We'll steal those points. Mike Jarek from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia is asking the questions today. Here's the good news, guys, is Mike is an incredible bus driver. So hop on the bus. Let's take a field trip. Richard, students, teachers, as you can tell, I'm across from the clothespin, right across the street from City Hall, Philadelphia. Why the clothespin? Because this question is about fashion. <laughs> Get it? Okay. What fashion brand, and I mean iconic brand, is famous for their interlocking C's in their logo? Julissa. Chanel. Chanel is right. There's 10 points. 
Yeah, a little Coco Chanel. Bam. All right, here we go. Mike, take us on another trip. Where you got? All right, try this one. House of Darion and Ivy Park are the brands of what famous singer? Miss Arkamoon. Beyonce. Is it Queen Bay? It's Queen oh. Bay. Beyonce is right. All right, final question, guys, on the field trip. Mike Jarek, our fashionista, what's going on? All right, try this one on for size. Get it? Uh, what iconic American brand announced this year that Zendaya will replace Gigi Hadid as their women's global ambassador? Who could it be? No guesses. We are looking for Tommy Hilfiger, guys. Tommy Hilfiger, global brand. I have big thanks to our bus driver, our leading man, Mike Jarek, for taking us on that field trip today. He always does a good job. I can't believe this. We're going into the final exam, notched up at 80 points apiece. Both teams are going to have a chance to ace their final exam, but who's going to do it? Open your books. It's final exam time. <laughs> Topic of today's final exam is currency. It makes the world go round, so it's going to decide this game as well. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to bank you guys 100 points for your teams. Teams, you're going to work together during this, the commercial break, so no writing quite yet. Let's hear these questions. First question in the final exam, what is the name of the Mexican currency? Second question in the final exam, what former U.S. president is featured? on the $1 bill. Finally, last question, the final exam. In her 2018 song, Money, what artist sings, but nothing in this world that I like more than checks? Now that's a quote I can get behind. All right, we know the question. Each team has 60 seconds to confer and come up with their answers in the commercial break. In just a couple minutes, I can't wait to see who's gonna win this thing and bring home those bragging rights. But first, here's a look at how you can be a part of the classroom. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Williams High going head to head right now. The score is notched up at 80 points apiece. Can you believe it? Hey, I had to do it because he's the greatest mascot around. Give it up for this guy. He just opened us back up. Listen, I'm telling you, you did a good job, but I'm going to take it from here, okay? You're relieved of your duty? My night rider. Get out of here. You're the man. He doesn't know which way to go. I don't know which way to go either. <laughs> He was headed right. All right, the topic of today's final exam is currency. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Don't forget, guys, each correct answer is 100 points for your score. So let's do it. Students versus teachers, 80 points apiece going into their final exam. Let's see who studied so they can take their money and bragging rights back to those schools. Here we go. First question, what is the name of the Mexican currency? We're going to start down here with our students. You said? We don't have an answer. Oh, no, no answer, which is going to be incorrect there. We'll get to the right answer. We'll see if the teachers have it. What is the name of the Mexican currency you guys said? We said peso. Peso is what we were looking for. Which brings us teachers up 100 points. Do you guys hear peso now? Do you think either, any of you guys have heard of it before? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you, like, now you're, right you're kicking right. yourself. You wanted it. it. All right, here we go. What former U.S. president is featured on the $1 bill? Students, we're going to start with you. You probably see a lot of these. Yep. You said? George Washington. And that's exactly right. Tie ball game all again. <laughs> Teachers, you're firing right back. What former U.S. president is featured on the $1 bill? Miss Arkamone. George Washington. Yeah. George Washington takes the lead right now. Students, you're getting a little bit nervous, Greg. I see you're kind of looking back and forth right now. You've been talking a little bit of trash going into this week, right? You, you need this win. If you, if, if you lose today and you go back to school, who's going to give it to you the worst? 
prepared to sing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. You guys, this all comes down to our final question. Now, students, if you get this right, teachers, you get this wrong, we go into sudden death overtime. One question brings it all down to that. But none of this matters, students, if you didn't get this correct. So, in her 2018 song, Money, what artist sings, but nothing in this world that I like more than checks? You said Cardi B. Cardi B's right ties the game. That ties the game. Now, you guys got to think, teachers don't listen to cool music, right? So chances <laughs> are, they're not listening to Cardi B. Or are they? We'll find out. <laughs> For the win, in her 2018 song, Money, what artist sings, but nothing in this world that I like more than checks? If you get this right, you're getting a check for $500. If not, we go to sudden death OT. For Hardy Williams High School, you guys said... Cardi B. Hey! Hey! Come get this check, teachers! It's what makes the world go round. You guys get out here, too. What a game today. We want to thank you guys for being here. I want to thank my co-host, Mr. Knight. Join us next time. We have new teachers, new students, and a whole other classroom to win. We love you guys.